Hey guys, so this is going to be a Walmart haul. I've got my coffee over here ready to go. And I found some really good items that were clearanced, a lot of dollar items, and just really cute items in general that I think you guys are going to love. If there's anything in this video that you guys like, which I know there will be, don't wait to go down and get this stuff. Go as soon as you can because a lot of this type of stuff at Walmart goes very quickly. So if you go to Walmart and you see it and you tell yourself, oh, I'll come back for it, chances are it's probably not going to be there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into the haul. So the first things that I got were a couple of Halloween items. And you're probably wondering, Jessica, why did you get Halloween items? Well, because they were clearance, and I will put them away for next year. I do that on Valentine's Day, Christmas. I buy everything. Well, not everything, but a lot of the stuff once it goes on clearance. And I put it away, and I thank myself the following year, every year. So the first things that I got were these adorable little stickers that I had been wanting to get, but I didn't want to pay the one or two ninety nine that they were. These are in the Jolie's boutique brand. They had these ones for, like I said, one or two ninety nine around Halloween time. Plus they had these adorable pumpkins. Well, they were shaped in the shape of a pumpkin and they were made out of all orange and green rhinestones. Then they had one shaped like spiders in black, silver, and gold rhinestones. But like I said, I didn't want to spend the price on the more expensive Halloween sticker sets. I wasn't able to find any of the rhinestone pumpkins or spiders because obviously when they went on clearance, people probably scooped them up. However, there were no signs saying these were on clearance. I just price checked them because they were Halloween and I assumed they would be. These were $0.74 cents each, you guys, and they're super cute. They're puffy, and they're going to be really cute for Halloween next year. I got these Kiss Nail stickers that were originally $5.99, and I got them for $0.99. Cents. It shows you the examples of what you can do with them. There's over 200 of the Accent Nail stickers. I think they're really cute and... Yeah, I just thought it was a good deal, especially for the Kiss brand. I got more Halloween stickers. These were $0.24 cents each. And when I bought a lot of my Halloween stickers in this brand at Walmart, I had put this set in my cart on two different trips and put it back both times. I do think they're adorable, but there were other ones that I wanted to get. But at $0.24 cents a pack, you guys, for 32 of these, I was not about to pass those up. There were... I think four or five of these sets left, and I decided to save two for someone else, and I got three. I got this. This was the last one in this one, and it were, it were, it was, or it is, sorry, these little spiders, and they've got the skulls and the kind of chevron print on their abdomen, kind of creepy looking, so for Halloween, I can use these for cards or Whatever, you get 11 of them also in the Sticko brand. And then the last set of anything in Halloween or stickers is these bats, and they are black and glittery. You get 24 of these, and I don't know why, but these were 25 cents. So the other ones were 24, and these were 25, but I still thought that was an awesome deal. They have stickers that look very similar to this in the Sticko brand. I've hauled them before. They are glittery skulls. Those ones are 97 cents still, though, because they don't say Halloween stickers on them. They just say everyday stickers. So I was glad that these ones were 25 cents. I picked up another one of these. I was going to call it a baguette, but no, French bread for 88 cents. They put these out fresh every morning. They're very tasty, yummy. You can just put butter on them, slice them up. You can make garlic bread out of them. And you're probably wondering where the other half is. And I'm pretty sure you guys know the answer to that. Jordan ate it last night. I told him, I don't think it's half gone, but it's a good portion of it. I told him, do not, well, actually, I always tell him, do not get into stuff before I haul it. I'm going to haul it tomorrow morning and... What do you know? I wake up and a portion of it is gone. So it's really tasty. It's in the bakery brand. It just says the bakery. The bakery baked with pride French bread and the net weight is 14 ounces. 
Then in the gift aisle, I came across this Starbucks gift set. This was $12.98, which is a killer deal because if you guys are familiar with Starbucks mugs, tumblers, or cups at Starbucks, these specific mugs range from anywhere from $19.99 to like $21.99. So for $12.98 for two of the big Starbucks mugs and a Veranda Blend Blonde Coffee, that is a steal. On Black Friday, I'm not too fond of going to Walmart because it's just crazy, but I go mainly for the Starbucks mugs because last year on Black Friday, I got really nice Starbucks gift sets, not with two of them, but just one mug with like coffee inside and I think some type of candy for $2, you guys, for a Starbucks mug with coffee inside of it, so... Last year, I bought multiples of the Starbucks mugs for $2 on Black Friday with the coffee and candy inside of it, and I was able to give those away as Christmas presents, and nobody knew that I paid $2 a piece. So my plan for this set is I'm going to keep one, and then the coffee and the other mug I'm going to give away as a Christmas gift. I was going to keep this one for Jordan and then just give the coffee away with like a regular mug from the Dollar Tree, but Jordan has mugs, and... I don't know. I'd rather give this away as a gift to like one of my female family members or whatever. So I thought that was awesome. I'm going to go to the other Walmart that's on the other side of Modesto. This one that I went to is closer and they don't have as big of a variety as far as clothes makeup, gift sets, or anything like that because their grocery selection is really big, so they don't get as much of the clothes or makeup and stuff like that. So I've seen people posting a lot of the gift sets that they got at the other Walmart, and they don't have them at this particular Walmart, so I'm going to go over there. And I hope they have more of a selection of the Starbucks mugs, which I know they will. I want to say all together in the Starbucks gift sets at my particular Walmart, they had about seven different types or selections. So then I got this one. I thought this one was really adorable. They had this one. The big one right here, they had about three different types of Starbucks sets at mine. And then the singles with this, they had about five different like prints and designs of cups. This one I thought you could use year round as well as the other ones. It says Starbucks coffee and gold. And then on the inside, it's got the jumbo caramel wafer and the Starbucks hot cocoa. And this one was $8.98. I'm going to keep this mug for myself. And then the wafer and the hot cocoa, I will buy a Starbucks mug, put it inside, wrap it, and give that away as a gift. Maybe with a $5 Starbucks gift card or something like that. I don't know. So, I thought those were awesome, awesome deals. Was really excited about those. Then, in the second gift aisle, I found this adorable bubble bath glitter globe for $4.88. And yes, this is for myself. It's got the Hello Kitty. Tell me that is not super stinking cute for $4.88. So, the bottom, I believe, is where the bubble bath is. I didn't get it for the bubble bath. I just got it just as a snow globe, and it says that you fill the inside with water and it comes with the glitter, and the glitter's really pretty in there. Do you guys think I should just leave it like this, or do you think I should actually fill it with water and the glitter? Although, if I fill it with water and glitter, I'm going to put just a couple drops of oil in it because that's what they do with snow globes. It keeps it, it keeps the glitter kind of floating around a little bit better instead of just dropping straight down so they have these in multiple characters frozen spider-man spongebob i took pictures that i will post on my instagram some people were having well actually not some people one person told me they were having trouble finding my instagram my instagram is breakup to makeup so breakup and then the number two not like two so breakup the number two makeup and then the number one you can't forget the one at the end or else you won't find me so you can see the other snow globes and all the other stuff that i didn't purchase on my instagram i just still need to post them 
in the ornament section, I got this adorable little poodle or ornament. <clears throat> Can't even talk. For $1.94, I thought she was so cute. I saw her last time, but I told you guys I wasn't going to buy all the ornaments at once. She's got the pink puffy hair, the sequins, and the silver glitter. She's going to go on my all girly pink tree, my little tree. I got this little pack of gold and silver sequins for 88 cents. They had a little Christmas like cardboard thing set up with all types of Christmas crafty stuff. They had did the same thing for Halloween and it's got three different sides. One side is 88 cent stuff. The other side is or the front is like a dollar and some odd cents and then the third side is like $2.97 items. This was in the 88 cent section. And, oh, I think the second section is 99 cents. And see that little present with the sequence on it? That's actually a little wooden, just comes in plain wood ornament. And they have those for 88 cents. I had put all three in my cart. The Christmas tree, the present, and the ornament. And I was going to glitterize them and put sequence on them and send them out in friend mail. So whoever I sent them to could hang them on their tree. It's got the twine to hang it up, and then you put the picture. I decided to pass, and next time if they still have them, I'm going to get three of them and just paint them or glitterize them or whatever. So, And those are really fun crafts for the kids to do as well. The kids would have a really good time painting and glitter, glitterizing and putting sequins on them. I got these adorable little coin purses. I got multiples in different, like, styles and designs. This was a dollar. And all the little, this is in the Modella brand, all the little dollar stickers that are on a lot of this stuff come off. This one doesn't have a sticker, but it's got the little dotted line, and you can just fold it in half, and that comes off so people don't have to know that you paid a dollar. So I got this one with the donuts. The candies, it says delish. It's got the cupcakes, it says love on it. And I have more of those, but they're in separate bags. So I will show those to you guys when I get to them. I got two of these little Townley Girl nail polish kits. It comes with that adorable little snowman topper, silver polish, and the little pink glitterized nail filer and there's the little sticker I told you about and it just peels off super easily it looks like it's a part of the cardboard but it's not so I got that one and this one they had Santa Claus ones with red glitter reindeers but these were the ones that I liked the best I'm gonna keep one I think and then give one away as a little Christmas present who knows? Maybe I'll give them both away. I'm not sure. Then I got the Body Cology little lotions. These were a dollar as well. And I actually really like the Body Cology lotions and the body sprays. I like the vanilla one the best. It's like sugar vanilla or something like that. But I dug through the whole little box that these were in and they only had two or three different scents and vanilla was not one of them. This one is in the Sweet Love and it is one ounce. I think for a dollar these are a really good deal. I got the matching body spray to this so I'll show that to you guys when I get to it. I got these adorable little hand or body lotions for a dollar each. I don't know what the scent is. I don't see it on here, but I just thought the packaging was super adorable for a dollar. I'm hoping these are like a vanilla or cupcake scent because if they are, I'm going to keep one. I think I got five or six of these just because they were so adorable. They are 1.69 fluid ounce. I got these adorable little lip glosses, and I actually got these for myself. This one is the lip gloss, and I believe they're strawberry. I don't know if they had different scents, but this one's in the little mustache, and it's a keychain, so I got that for myself. I got the one that looks like lips, 
And I wish I would have bought a couple more of these, but I was already spending so much money that I think I might have only got one of each. They had them in red. I think they might have had red mustaches. If I go back and they have more, I might get, like, two more lips and two more mustaches for friend Mel. And I believe the scent in these are strawberry. I thought I'd seen somewhere... Maybe not. Maybe that was a different lip gloss I got. So those are super cute. The brand in these is Pink... What is that? Pink Viva? Yeah, Pink Viva is the brand of those. I got these adorable little Hello Kitty lip balms. Oh, these were the ones that were in strawberry. And look, it's got the little Santa hat on them. I thought for a dollar, that was a super good deal. They had Hello Kitty lip glosses and like all different styles, Hello Kitty chapsticks, and I just thought that was such a good deal. So I think I got two of the Hello Kitty ones with the Santa hats on them. They had ribbon for a dollar each, and I took pictures of all the different ribbons they had for a dollar. I decided only to get two. I got this one with the adorable little reindeer. My camera will focus. The adorable little reindeer with the blue scarf and the snowflakes. And there you can see it says a dollar on it. Here is the other one that I got. They had tons of pink different Christmas ribbon. I thought this one was adorable. They had a pink, like baby pink sequence ribbon one as well for a dollar. So these were the two that I decided to get just for now. <clears throat> also in the Modella brand, you guys know that's like the brand that they sell at Walmart with a lot of their makeup bags and makeup cases. These little mirrors I thought were so stinking cute for a buck. It's the flower mirror, and it's got the glitter, and it's got the leopard on it. So I got that one. And there's one more that I got, but it's in a different bag, so I'll show that to you when I get to it. Then I got this... Holiday Craze Lip Gloss. I got a couple of these. This one's got the cute little fox. It is 0 0.24 ounces. I don't... Oh, this is Vanilla Cherry Pop, so I got that one. I got this one with the adorable little penguin on it. I thought that was so cute. This one is in Sweet Vanilla Swirl. So tell me those are not so cute. I got these glitters for crafting these were in the 88 cent crafting section i got silver green gold and red and as you guys know glitter can get a bit pricey so for 88 cents i thought that was a really good deal especially for christmas crafting these are going to be perfect these are 0 0.6 ounces each and I showed you guys the ones that I got at Halloween I think I got a one that's like a really light white with rainbow type look on it and then I got an orange one as well I think I may have even got a gold one too here is another one of the little cupcake lotions that I got because I told you I bought multiples of those here's the other Modella mirror that I got for a dollar it's got this really pretty purple glitter with the polka dots on it. They had these in turquoise. I think they had about four different styles of these mirrors, and these were the two that I liked the best. I got this little ornament in the ornament section for $1.94. I fell in love with this, you guys. Even Jordan thought it was cute. Tell me this is not adorable. So I'm going to put this on my girly Christmas tree, but then after Christmas, I'm going to set it in my beauty room somewhere because I think it's so cute. So there's the little $1.94 tag, and it says holiday time. That's the brand of most of the little ornaments there. I got two of these soft soap vanilla cookie cents these were 98 cent, 88 cents or 98 cents a piece they had these in different scents they had the vanilla cookie they had a green one that was 
I don't know the scent, but it had like a pine tree on it. They had a burgundy one that was like holiday berry. And you guys know I am a vanilla nut. So these were the ones I decided to get. Here is the second Hello Kitty chapstick that I got for a dollar. And I just wanted to point out, you guys, they have so much cute Hello Kitty stuff at Walmart that how cute would it be to do a gift? Get a couple of the little dollar Hello Kitty stuff. They have the chapsticks, the lip glosses. You could get this little snow globe for $4.88. I got this blanket at Walmart for, I think, like, around $10. You could get this and what else was there? Oh, and then the wrapping paper that I got from Dollar Tree that I showed you guys, you could wrap it all in this wrapping paper and that would make such a cute gift. Nobody would know that you got everything for as cheap as you did. It would just be super cute. I also have another Hello Kitty item to show you guys that I got in the gift section. For myself, it looks like it, well, it is for a little girl, so it's kind of embarrassing that I got it for myself, but for $4.88, I could not pass it up. It's this little Hello Kitty gift set, and it's got the little cup so you can rinse your mouth out when you brush your teeth. It's got the little toothbrush holder and then the pink Hello Kitty toothbrush, and then it's got the little stand that says Hello Kitty. It says, now fits most wide handle toothbrushes. They had these in multiple characters as well. This is going to be so cute in my front bathroom, and I was super excited to get this for $4.88. So this is another Hello Kitty item that you could add in with the blanket and the snow globe if you wanted to do like a whole Hello Kitty little gift set with the Dollar Tree wrapping paper. That would be stinking adorable and very inexpensive. So we're almost done, you guys. Here's another one of the little coin purses that I got for a dollar. This one says, LOL, peace. It's got the heart locket and the key. It says, dream. It's got little lipsticks. So I'll put the other one next to it so you can see them side by side. Here is another one that I got. It's an owl one. And this one I actually got for friend Mel. These two... I might keep, I know I'm keeping this one for a fact, I might give this one away, but this one is for a specific someone for a friend mail. A dollar each for these is super cute. They also had one, I don't know if any of you guys remember at Dollar Tree, they have the zebra little makeup cases that have the zebra, black and white zebra print with the lipsticks and lips on them. And it reminded me of the same one at Dollar Tree and it was in this little coin purse but I passed on it, so those are the three I got. I either got three or four. This video, I just feel like, is so horrible. I feel like I can't speak. It's just all over the place, but I don't want to refilm it again. So I'm sorry, you guys. Thank you for watching even when my videos are horrible like this. These were $0.24 cents a piece, so there were about five or six different bags. I got four of them just for putting gifts in or friend mail, I got the penguin, the Santa, the snowflake one, and the polka dot one that says Merry Christmas. I thought that was a good deal because basically that's four of these for about a dollar. Then I got these little adorable packs of mini bows for a dollar each, or 97 cents each. As you can see, I got this one more for like the men's gifts. It's got red, silver, and black, which I thought was really cute. And then this one has the purple, green, blue, pink, red, just all the different colors. I thought those were really super cute. You know, like if you were to give one of these bags away with the little gifts in it, you could put one of these on the top or just on a little present or a little box. They had, I want to say, three or four different color combos in these little bows. We're almost to the end. These were 98 cents each, and I thought they were so cute, you guys. Look at these little ice cream cones. These are so stinking adorable for, wait, are they 97 or 98? 98 cents. 
These are adorable. These are going to go on my little girly Christmas tree. I think I'm going to have to do two girly Christmas trees because I don't think there's any way these are going to fit. These might have to go on my regular tree, but I don't think I'll be able to put them on because I'm doing a theme. But then again, I have one fake pre-lit white tree that I will put in mine and Jordan's room, and it's like six feet and then we'll do the big tree in the living room and then all the rest of the trees are small so maybe my white tree that's going to go in mine and jordan's room maybe these can go on that tree depending on the theme that i decide to do on that tree here is the oh no is there a bag missing this is the bodycology bronze amber obsession moisturizing body cream for a dollar and I wonder if I left one of the bags in the car because both of these little body lotions, I got the matching little body sprays for a dollar to go with them. So I could give someone, you know, each set. So where the heck are they? Maybe there's a bag in my car or maybe somewhere in the living room that I missed. I'm not sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I showed you. I know that was kind of hard to follow kind of scatterbrained this morning and just all over the place. But I definitely wanted to show you guys this stuff so you guys could go down and get it ASAP while they still have it. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comments section. And if you guys enjoy these type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.